Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to add some um, lines down here, X and Y of this graph. So let's try and do that. Now, the first thing I would do is I want to darken the graph itself by putting C, because C is B before D, huh. so that I can use uh, the lines for uh, the other side, yes. So I can still use polylines here, no problem. So I'll use polylines. Now I'll put them behind. So I'll start with them and put them behind here. So I can put some PHP tags right here. This is okay. So I can make a loop over here. So I need a polyline like this and put, I'll put it in here. But I don't want to disturb uh, anything here, so the loop should probably... Hmm, what to do here? Okay, wait a second. So first of all, let's do this. Uh, put... Ah, right, this is HTML. It's not... Uh... Uh, let's start with the Y lines, you know, top to bottom lines, like so, okay, top to bottom. So here what I'll do is I want to loop. Now I need to know how many times to loop, so from top to bottom. Now each loop is going to be equal to one single unit. So here there's 1000, right? It's 1000 here from top to bottom so what I'll do is uh, actually it's quite important that these lines fall on the values here okay so top to bottom they should fall right on these things so I know that there are 12 lines here because there are 12 of these items here so that's what we will use so let's put a loop which is a for each loop so for, no, it's a for loop actually. Now in the for loop, I want to be, I want to look at the uh, max x here because x is left to right. Okay, so that's the value we are looking at. So i is going to be the coordinate for the x. Mm -hmm. And then because i is going to move only 12 times, it should know still, uh, because if we use 12 pixels, because th there are only 12 items on the left to right, if we use, we use 12 pixels here, <coughs> it's just going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, up to here, down here up to 12, which is not ideal. So what I want is, let me copy this, uh, on the for each loop, I want to close the PHP tags here and open them again so that I can put HTML in between the loop. May look a bit confusing, but the points here should just be four points. Mm -hmm. So since we are moving from top to bottom every time, it means there's always one value that is going to be zero on the x-axis. Oh no, on the y-axis, it's going to be zero. X is this way, so the value will only be on the x, the y will be zero, and then the second one, the y will be maximum. <coughs> so, to start with, we start a point that is uh, on the y is zero, but on the X, there is an I. Okay. Okay, let me do this. Um, there's X1 and X2. Okay. Because there's XY coordinate here, and there's an XY coordinate there that we need for us to make a line right so i'll call this one x1 and this one is x2 then there's also a y here that will be y1 and another y here y2 so what i'll do is the x1 will be equal to 
the first x uh, the y uh, the y1 would always be zero y1 will always be zero and then the y2 will always be uh, the maximum so that's max y wait not really the max y it should be the canvas y always so the only real coordinates uh, that I need changing are the other ones so for example the x2 and the x1 these two remain the same so x1 here <coughs> is the x for this one here so that one is going to be equal to i whatever i is at that time and we multiply it by the multiplier x because that's the value of one unit like so and then here we will do what is x2 x2 is down here now x2 should always be the same as x1 because they should be in the same line so what is x1 sem sem so x1 is equal to that okay so pretty good so what i want now is just to do this uh, x1 and close so there's x1 x2 uh, and then wait, wait 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 sorry about that x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 so there's a comma in between these guys and a space between these guys let's see if that does anything doesn't look like uh, oh the stroke is white so that's not good wait what's going on here uh stroke width is four stroke white fill is c hmm huh. that's interesting so we need to change this one the stroke width let's put it at two to be thinner and then the stroke will be d d d d like that so it's just not showing i guess and there we go so as you can see the lines are happening that's very cool maybe let's make them even um, uh, slightly lighter okay so that's our graph right there kind of looks like a graph now all right so e f e f e f oops let me try a different color i want them lighter still ah. let's see e1 one one let's we'll see here doesn't seem to change much at all so i'll just leave it at e e e uh -huh. So these are the top to bottom lines <coughs> but let's do the other ones so i'm just going to copy this and put the left to right lines okay so on this one we are doing maximum y because those are the lines that we ought to do ideally i would want each of these to have some substance but that's okay we just need to divide the um, the y-axis or multiply the y-axis by in this case uh the y maximum y is max data is 100 right it's 100 
So in a hundred, if you have a thing that's 1000 pixels long, it means there are 10 values that you need to do. But <clears throat> what I'll do instead, I'll look at what one unit is here, uh, which is the multiplier y. What is multiplier y? So I'm just going to echo um, it's actually four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember this. The value here is four. Now, if it's four to 1,000, that, that would be a lot of lines. Every four pixels, that's a lot. So maybe I can multiply this Y by a fixed value. Let's see here. Four... Hmm, what to do, what to do, let me come down here. So multiplier y is 4, uh, max y is 100. So if I divide the two, 4 <coughs> into 100 is 25. I think that makes sense. Uh -huh. I think so. So I'm going to do max, where is it? This is it, max y, um, let's see here. Max lines is equal to max y, which is four, multiply that by the, Actually, let me do the maximum number. Max y is this one. That's 400. Divided by multiplier y. It may get <coughs> a little bit complex, but it makes sense. So max y is um, 100. This is the maximum number here, which is 100. And then we get that number and um, we multiply it by the multiplier. In this case, the multiplier is four. So that's, uh, okay, so that would be 100 by four. So instead, let's divide by the multiplier. Okay, like that, so that we get 25. That's four, max y, no, 100 divided by four, that's 25. So max lines here, copy, and let's put that there. Oh. <clears throat> so this would do 25 times okay so now the thing is there are these values that are always uh, always zero so <clears throat> let me duplicate that x1 is here and then x2 uh, because x is this way so here the numbers that are fixed are going to be the y's no, wait, y is going down like this, we change. So it's the x that will be fixed. So x1 will be zero here, and x2 will be maximum. So x1 be zero, and then x2 will be the canvas x. That's the maximum value. So now I just need a value for this one. Oops. And this one. Oops. Uh, y x two. I need a value for this one and this one. Okay. <coughs> so here, what I need is y one will be equal to the i, and actually, this one will be equal to y one. Okay. So that they're on the same level. So this one is i multiplied by, since there are 25 of these, uh, let me try max lines. Max lines is 25, 25 times two. Let's try that. Let's see what we get. Ah, there we go. Okay. 
very cool so many calculations but at the end of the day i think it makes sense there we go there we go there we go okay so we have a graph that's going on here which is pretty cool let me darken this one even more okay something like this huh. da, 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 da. <clears throat> Now, what I can do is I can just right click inspect element, look at the values here, and then I can tweak them even more to, to change what I want up to here maybe. Actually, <coughs> I wanted this to disappear a bit more. So I think it's the stroke. Um, let me get this back to where it was, CCC. This is okay. I think the stroke width should just be one on these to make it more fainter. Ah, there we go. So hopefully you can still see those lines on the graph, but this is what it is now. Now we can put those points over here, which will be much, much easier. And then we can put some values down here and some values up there. Okay, so at least we have a, something that resembles a graph. I'll see you in the next video. See here, boom, boom, boom. Okay.